I'm going to show you how to set up and use the super sanitizer. First carefully take the machine out of the box and set it on the counter and spread the parts out so you can see all of what you have. Don't lose any packaging or parts. Open the flow valve to release pressure from the water lines. There are three plugs to remove. Make sure when you're removing the quick connect plug that you pull in on the release ring before you pull out on the plug. When you're pushing in the hoses, make sure to brace the fitting while you're pushing hard to push in the hose and make it seat. The top stainless steel flexi hose has to be pushed hard while you're screwing it in and brace that fitting as well. The next step is to install the diverter. You first need to remove the aerator of the faucet. If you have a special faucet, call us for special instructions. An extra adapter ring or two should be included in your box, and this helps you fit different styles of faucets. The next step is to screw the diverter onto the faucet. Now remove the nut from the side of the diverter. Put the nut onto the hose in such a way that it faces outward. Now push the hose onto the barb and over the bump so that it's fully seated. Screw the nut back over the hose onto the diverter until it's fully seated. Tighten up your connections if you need to. The super sanitizer is very versatile. It can kill germs and viruses with the very lowest and highest alkaline and acidic waters that you can get. And for drinking, it gives you perfect ionized water, which helps your body in five distinct ways. It helps with pH balance, oxidation reduction, lots of antioxidants, and helps with hydration. While ionized water is poured, the machine will continuously clean itself so that as long as you own this machine, it will always work just as well as the day you got it. Here's some testing I did in St. Louis. At 9.5 pH, the super sanitizer was producing more than negative 800 oxidation reduction potential, ORP. And then also, a very high amount of molecular hydrogen. With the super sanitizer, you're guaranteed to be able to get acidic water low enough to kill germs on contact, and also alkaline water high enough to be able to uh, clean, do general cleaning and degreasing around the house. Normally, you would have just distilled water in the bin. But when you are going to produce superoxidized water, you need to fill the bin with saline water. You just make this saline water yourself. To make superoxidized water, you need to pull out the left spigot and put a pitcher under it, and then turn on the water flow and push the left upper button to get the strongest acidic water coming out that spigot, and then the strongest alkaline water comes out the other hose. The super sanitizer can also sense when it needs a little bit of extra cleaning, especially after you've poured the super strong acidic water using sodium. There are two complete water cells inside the super sanitizer, making up a total of 12 plates. This is very unique because a lot of times companies will put 12 plates in one water cell and that's very non-efficient and I've always advocated against that. But this is really uh, the first time I've ever seen two full water cells be put in a water ionizer. It makes it very powerful and also very versatile.